Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to install OpenVPN in Ubuntu server. Uh, OpenVPN is a, an application that allows a user to connect to their private network from anywhere uh, in the internet. And so this is very beneficial if you are working remotely somewhere in the internet and you want to um, connect to your network and have all the resources available. And um, before starting, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, to support uh, the channel, and also hit the notification icon. So let's get started for it. All right, so to install OpenVPN, I'm going to use a script that is going to basically automate the process of uh, installing and configuring OpenVPN. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to copy the wget command in order to download the script. I'm going to leave the link um, to the script down in the description. And then I'm going to head over to my terminal, which is uh, I'm already connected to, uh, to the remote Ubuntu server. And I'm going to do go to shift V. I'm going to press enter. All right, so once the script is done, I'm going to uh, change, uh, make the script executable by doing shemat plus X, and then uh, the name of the script. Next, I'm going to start the script by doing sudo openvpn install.sh and uh, the first the first thing that the script asks you is to uh, is to enter the IP address of your uh, the public IP address of your router. This is the uh, this is the the interface that is facing your um, your ISP your, the internet. Since I'm doing this in a lab environment. I'm going to use the private IP address of my servers. So I'm going to enter mine, 192.168.137.5. I'm going to press enter. The next thing is to uh, select whether you want to use UDP or TCP. And I'm going to select the default, which is UDP number one. Press enter. Port number 1194. I'm going to accept the default. And then for uh, DNS server client, uh, I'm going to use number one, which is the current DNS server inside my system. But again, if you are connecting from the outside, if you're connecting from the internet, then you might want to select number two, which is Google's DNS. I'm going to select number one. And then the last, uh, the last thing is to um, name the, uh, the client configuration file, which I'm going to name it desktop, or actually I'm going to name it Open VPN client, and I'm going to press enter. So now the script is going to install uh, Open VPN. Once installation is complete, I'm going to restart Open VPN by doing sudo systemctl restart Open VPN. The next thing that I want to do, I want to um, view the status of the of the uh, view the status of Open VPN by doing systemctl status open VPN. So as you can see the service is up and running. The last thing that I want to do, actually not the last thing that I want to do, but the next thing that I want to do is to make sure that my firewall is allowed inbound connection on port 1194. So I'm going to do sudo ufw status and as you can see I need to include a rule for allowing uh, OpenVPN connection. So I want to do sudo ufw allow 1194 UDP and pressing enter. If I recall the previous command, now I have that rule inside my firewall. The last thing that I want to do is to make sure that uh, my server is listening on that port. And so I'm going to do sudo nestat, and then I'm going to do np, and I'm going to pipe that into grep, and I'm looking for openvpn, and of course the correct command is nestat, and as you can see openvpn is listening on UDP port 1194. Okay, so now we need to get the um, the client configuration file. This is the this is the file that the client is going to use uh, in order to connect to the server. 
So uh, in order to do that, we need to go inside the root home directory. So if your root is not enabled, go ahead and enable root by doing sudo password root and give it a password. All right, so next let's log in as root. And if we do a ls minus l, and this is the that open VPN configuration file. And uh, we need to copy it. Well, actually, I'm going to copy it to my home directory. And I'm going to exit from root. All right. And this is the file here. So next, let's go over to a Ubuntu desktop client. And let's connect from uh, using Ubuntu Open VPN client. All right, so I'm going to log in. Here, the first thing that we want to do, we want to um, we want to copy the uh, OpenVPN configuration file to the desktop from the server to the desktop. So I'm going to do SCP and port is going to be 22. The remote server is going to be username at 192.168.137. In that five column, my username, and then open VPN client that o VPN. I believe that's a correct file name. Let me see. Yes. And I'm going to place it in the current directory. I'm going to press enter, enter the password, and if everything goes well, we should have the file copy into our computer, which is this one. The next thing that I want to do, I want to install uh, Network Manager for OpenVPN. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do sudo app install Network Manager OpenVPN. I'm going to press enter, and the password. I'm going to let it complete. Once the installation is complete, I'm going to close the terminal, so I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to come here to the uh, to the network icon, and then I'm going to expand wire connection, and then wire settings. On wire settings, I'm going to click on the plus sign on VPN, and then I'm going to select import file. I'm going to click open VPN client. Click open. I'm going to accept the defaults. I'm going to click add. All right, so I'm going to close out here, go back into the network icon. We have noticed that we have OpenVPN off. If we expand it, now we can connect to it. So I'm going to click connect. And as soon as we connect, we should have this icon here coming live. All right, so we successfully connected. If you want to test the connection, if you go to the server and you do IPA, notice that we have this ton zero interface and the IP address is 10.8.0.1. If we successfully connect, we should be able to ping that interface. So I'm going to say ping 10.8.0.1. And as you can see, we have successful ping. If I disconnect and I try to ping again, this time it's not going to work. All right. So that is a one. That's one quick way you can test for communication after um, connecting to your OpenVPN server. All right. So let's go to Windows. Um, in order to connect from Windows, we need to download the OpenVPN client from Windows. Now I'm going to leave all the description, all the links down in the description, but basically you have to go to openvpn.net, community downloads, and download the, I'm going to download the 64-bit uh, version of it. I'm going to click on it, and uh, it's really a small file. Next I'm going to head over to the File Explorer, head over to Downloads, and I'm going to double-click on OpenVPN. 2.5. I'm going to click on Run, Install Now, 
and I'm going to click close. Click close. Now I need to copy the um, client configuration file, so I'm going to open WinSCP in order to connect to my Ubuntu server. I log in. I'm going to copy the that OVPN file to my local computer. After that, I'm going to close the connection. If I come down here to the taskbar and I expand this uh, drop uh, menu, this icon here, and notice that I have a OpenVPN graphical user interface icon here. So I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on import file. I'm going to select my OpenVPN uh, configuration file, click open, click OK. I'm going to come down here again, right click on it, and now what I want to do. I want to click on connect. All right, so we have successfully connect, and this is our IP address 10.8.0.2. All right, and so that's it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to support the channel, hit the notification icon, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.